that's the one. Wow. Yeah. That's a bit of an experience. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what were you saying? <laughs> we was on, um, what was it, Thailand? Talk about Thailand, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so we flip in. Where was we? Flip in. Just start the training lifestyle there. So just waking up. Like going out. No, next time I roll it, I want to sort of experience mm. Thailand. Like, do you know what I mean? Actually go see there, some of the sides, see some of the sides yeah. a bit more, and go train, but mm. maybe train around this time instead of in one place. That's that's what I'd like to do next time. You mentioned about the uh, behind the stairways over the counter. That do is it? Do a lot of the athletes take? take oh, them? A, a lot of the athletes there. Really? A lot of them. It's joke. It's hilarious, mate. It's, they they tell you, oh, I don't do it. I don't do it. Next thing you see them, you know what I mean. Or one uh, in one conversation I have with them, oh yeah, I do like four things at a time. And you, you lot are crazy, you know what I mean? I'm hearing you telling one other person that you don't do nothing. So, yeah. It's kind of encouraged out there then. It's not encouraged, it's, it's just. It's really, like a catalogue for steroids, doesn't it? This is the people, they just. They love it, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. Everyone, everyone does it, I guess, don't they? Like, yeah. I don't know what they're doing it for, and you can only cheat yourself. At the yeah, end of the day. No, no, exactly. Um, so go back. So uh, after you came back and had that fight, uh, have you had? What, so what day? When was that? That was November, and then I think it was March. I then turned over to MMA. I always wanted to do the MMA from a yeah. kid, but it was just it was just waiting for the right time. Like, I believe in you know you have, you have that boy strength. Yeah. But you want to be you need that man strength to actually compete with the the men. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's why I waited a long, such a long time to actually turn over into. So have, uh, have you actually fought professionally? No, two of mine is amateur. No. So, so you turn pro now. When realistically you look into hit the particular professional ranks? Uh, I'd like to give it a year. I'm yeah. having a solid year. Build this record up. I've got a good management team up. Yeah. Talent management. Just really start getting it in now. Like I said there is no rush, I'm only I'm twenty three next yeah. week, so time you know time is on my side but the yeah. main thing is like growth, growth is a vital. Talk about your trainers, your training situation? So at the minute I train at Raptors in Sutton. Uh nicely on board now is Angel. Yeah. He's a great Angel Shout out to Angel, Angel. he's a great coach. Uh, do my training with the Savage Squad, uh, Alpha Talent Management, all them boys at Yorkie's Gym and Tootin. Pound for pound, Jim and Beckenham, and you know, we got. I, I, I like to get my training everywhere. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Just wherever, whenever. So you're full time now? Not full time. No, I work as an engineer. Okay. So last year I was full time, but yeah. someone got to pay the bills. Yeah, no, that's, that's, it's hard. It's hard. I tried it. I've done a year out of it, but listen, having, having a score to last year like two weeks and that's yeah, no joke. So yeah, gone back to work as an engineer, and yeah, it's good. Everything's going good again. Like my mindset's all happy. I've been out a lot this year, injured, tore the ligaments in my hand, but no, I feel good and just itching to get back in there really. Well, just a couple of questions before we kind of wrap it up. Just um, cutting weight. To talk to me a little bit about that. I mean, it, 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 some athletes find it hard, some you know, what, How do you. Yeah, I'll, to be honest, I'm not, I fight at 65. Do you know what I mean? It's, for me, I walk around at 69. Been in, being injured, I'm like 71 max. I, I don't know, I don't really put too much weight on and I'm not, I like to get my weight down. And I don't put much weight on so I have no reason to start focusing on, I need to get the weight, I need to get the weight. I don't like to keep it like that. The fight week, you know what I mean, I like to be two, three kilos out, nothing major, and I'll just do my runs and then sort it out of the bath really. But obviously I've learned from when I first started cutting my weight, no, I mean, I've passed out and I've, I've done it the hard way before. But like I said, you understand a bit about yourself. Then you've got people like Brad Pickett and Nathaniel Wood to encourage you. Mm. Oh, try sweets for it, use this. Educating you, you know what I mean? We, we're surrounded by great people that understand a lot about this game. And they just want to make it easier for you. And put, they put time and effort into us boys, you know what I mean? So them teaching us, oh, do this, do that. In the ball, 15 minutes or whatever. So yeah, it made it easy for me now. And I, I know I've got a lot better understanding of what you're cutting now. Well, hopefully, you know, like you say, in the next year or so, you'll, you'll develop more, you'll you know, start to become a bit more um, experienced, and hopefully, uh, um, we'll see you. Um, all right, just a, just a quick one. Favourite MMA fighter? 
pray with John Jones. John Jones, all day. Yeah. I don't care about what they say about him. Do you know what I mean? I believe the UFC try to just like, sabotage it, man. They try to kick a man or ask he's down. As you see with Billy Joe Saunders, they, they pulled out. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a test of positive. What, what, what do you make of that, actually, while we're talking about that? Well, I never believed he touched no. anything anyway. It's a nasal spray, isn't it? I mean, um, like you said, they love to kick it. Like, this industry, boxing, MMA, they love yeah. to kick a man while he's down. And that's, that's my view on that. And like I said, it was all fine anyway. Yeah, I know they've got the hearing, I think, on the 9th of October. Um, I think it's down to the Massachusetts now. It's yeah. not so much the British that they cleared him, but... See, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's a bit funny. Obviously, um, John Jones, uh, I was reading something yesterday actually that he's uh, like, he's, he's back in yeah, October, uh, December, I think. I yeah, he just got to get back on it. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Uh, he's the greatest of them all. It's a shame what happened to him. Yeah, John, he's, he's, he's an arcade, but. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's not one to play with. Yeah, yeah. One to play his last fight against DC. Um, exactly. I don't understand that. Oh, I can't stand DC. <laughs> um, what was it, if you could fight in one one place, stadium, country, or where would it be? The top in the bill. I think the top of the bill would always be Vegas. Yeah. But, I don't know, O2. Yeah. O2, you know. Or Stanford Bridge? Stanford. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I'd, what O2. about Wembley, White Hart Lane, like Tottenham? No, no, no. Keep away from White Hart Lane, definitely. Uh, we'll no. Cut that bit out. <laughs> yeah. um, Stanford Bridge would be great as my Chelsea fan, but yeah. no. O2, London, definitely. Shout out to Angel. Um, obviously the big fight tonight, Conor Khabib. Talk to me, how do you see that one going? How do I see it going? I don't know, it's, it's like from the first, from when the bell goes. Khabib is going to come forward with the pressure. But this is what I don't know, if he comes forward with the pressure, I think McGregor will back up and he'll clap him. Like I said, he, he, ain't, he don't want to take a smack off Conor. But I feel like if Khabib's clever, and they don't rush in, do you know what I mean? And they just stand there, they just do a bit of timing, wait for Connor to start maybe striking, he might get him down, but it's all about how it meets from the off for me. I can't call it. I'm going with McGregor, round one. Knockout. I believe he'll get him straight away. There's too much, there's too much hate in this fight. You know what yeah, I mean? They don't like each other. They don't I, like I can see this now. being another Nate Diaz kind of like a couple of two, three fights potentially. Yeah, I would like to see the five rounds of this, but yeah. it's, in, it's the matchup we all want to see. Yeah, you know? absolutely. It's been about two years in this fight. I'm looking forward to the Ferguson Pettis under yeah. like that, the co-main. That's the fight I, I enjoy. Because Khabib was supposed to uh, fight Ferguson. He's, that was supposed to happen about three, four times. Is that it? And knee injuries, weight. Weight cutting and... I don't know. Like I said, Ferguson's walking around with a belt like he's champ. Yeah. But yeah, I love it. Like mm. I said, the lightweight on that on this fight club tonight is... Yeah, it's a, it's a good event. But um, is there any questions you want to ask? How, how do you see the Ferguson fight panning out? Uh, you know, I've always loved Pettis. I like his striking, him and his brother, I've always liked the Pettis brothers, but Ferguson he's a tricky, he's a tricky character, do you know what I mean? Uh, I, as much as I want Pettis, I'll go Ferguson on that one. I do hope Pettis can do it though, I really do. You're gonna stay up? For it. Yeah, I'm gonna stay up. It's a good night of um, boxing on time. Then you got the American card as well. Yeah, I'm going to talk Billy Joe on. Is it Andrade? I think that's no, that's in two years. Tonight is Eddie Hearns. Uh, it's um, oh, 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 yeah, that's the one before on BT. Yeah. And then you've got Eddie Hearns. Jack Cat. Yeah, that's going to be decent. That's a good fight. Yeah. 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 There's another good. There's uh, Dubar and um, Kevin oh, Johnson. Yeah. Kevin Johnson. Uh, that came a good little test. Another one I'm looking forward to is my mate Sonny Edwards and yes. Brian Perret. Yeah, that's going to be a good time. I'm loving the little beef that we've got. Yeah, yeah. It's making me laugh that one. Yeah. Um, do you want to like shout out your social media DM so people can follow you? Yeah, uh, my social media is underscore JP66, I think. Uh, yeah, and I'll shout out uh, Alpha Talent Management, obviously Raptors, Grassroots Boxing, and uh, yeah, the whole team really. Nice one. Cool.